in the end, how much worse could it get? I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets. I was blind, but now I see. Can you characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes, exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that? There is no end to our ability to do that. Simply flooded the system with money? Yes, we did. That's another way to think about it. We did. Where does it come from? Do you just print it? We print it digitally. So we, you know, we, as a central bank, we have the ability to create money. I go home and ask him, so why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and said, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Mamo. Today we'll be looking at the Bitcoin price and doing some technical analysis and looking at the week ahead and where we think prices might go, possible trade setups and just looking at the charts in general. So just looking at the Bitcoin chart on the daily, we can see that we broke out of this giant triangle pattern, had a massive drop all the way from 11.5 down to 9.8. We went sideways for almost two weeks and now we've broken out of this sideways pattern and started trending upwards. We're currently getting resistance on this daily ribbon and we're also testing the 382 level on the Fib retracement which is from the bottom here all the way out to the top of this pattern at our highest point at 12480. 12, so I do think we're going to get resistance at this ribbon and I do think we are going to break back down. So at the time of filming this video we can see we are currently testing this 3, 382 level here. We did come all the way up to 10,930 and we did get a pullback. So we, we are getting some resistance here and I do think we're going to top out in this range. So just looking at the RSI and the stochastic RSI, we can see we are quite high here and 71 on the RSI and up to the high 90s on the stochastic RSI on the 4 hour time frame. If we look now at the lower time frames we can see the 2 hour is quite high as well and the one hour, which, which is not as good as the higher time frames, is also quite high. Going, going into the six hour, you can see the six hour is quite high, and the 12 hour, the 12 hour is also quite high on the stochastic and on the RSI sitting at 58. The daily does, does still have some room to go up, but I will go into that on another chart. So just looking at the 4 hour chart, we can see once we're above this 70 level on the RSI, we have topped out previously here and also here where we had this big dump. So we are approaching that range again now and perhaps this is a top out range. We can see also on this point here we topped out once we went above the 70 level. So just another thing I was looking at, I've just uh, copied this pattern here from, from the uh, Corona dump in March where we had a run up and then we had that big dump down. And if you copy this pattern as a fractal and paste it over the current pattern, we can see how similar the price action is. So just zoom in on that, make that a bit clearer. So the fractal is just these, these yellow bars and we can see we had this run up, and we had this dump down, we had the run up, dump down, up, down, up, and then we had this big crash down and now we're currently going up testing this ribbon and it's very very similar to the previous fractal where we started to have that dump. So this is another piece in in why I think that the Bitcoin price is going to turn around at the top of this ribbon and we can see currently we are testing the top of this ribbon. I don't think we'll have a crash quite like we did back in March but I do think we will come down perhaps at the lowest around this 9100 level 
back to where we sort of started before we broke out of this triangle. So just looking at the weekly chart now, we can see uh, we're in this giant triangle pattern. We did break out, and quite often when we break out, we do come back to retest the the uh, trend line of resistance before we bounce again. So I've just drawn the Fibonacci retracement all the way from the bottom of the Corona dump to the top here. And we can see it sort of coincides with the 382 level and also this trend line that I'm expecting to bounce off. So that level is around 9200 even. And also the weekly EMA ribbon I think will act as support. So we might wick all the way down to the bottom but I do think we'll bounce on this line or at least hold the body of the candle at this line. If it were to happen this week, then uh, this level would be around 9200. If it were to happen next week, it might be a little bit lower, maybe at 9150. And that will also coincide with the bottom of the ribbon here. So just looking at the RSI and the stochastic RSI on the weekly, we can see that we've, we have come down quite a bit now on the weekly stochastic. We're down at a level of 11. So this is a bounce point, but I do think we will wick down still, down to these levels. On the RSI, we're not quite as low. We're in the 50 range, and I've just got this white line drawn here. Just to show that in the previous bull market, this was a line that we bounced off repeatedly on the bull run, all the way to the peak here, and when we did break it, that sort of triggered the start of the bear run and acted as resistance. So just zooming in, we can see we did get quite close to this line. We didn't quite touch it. So I do think we're, we're going up at the moment, but we will have this dump down and touch this line and then have the bounce and carry on on the bull market. So just on the daily chart again here, I've just got drawn this yellow line is the 50-day moving average. This is the 50-day exponential moving average, the uh, light yellow line. And the red line is the 200 daily moving average. So if we were to have that drop down to fill the gap and also a bit more, we see that it coincides with this similar level that we were talking about earlier, around 91.50. And of course, if the dump doesn't happen for a couple of days, maybe that would be at about the 9200 level. So I do think possibly by the end of the week, we might have this dump down. If not, maybe next week. We are currently getting resistance here on the 50 daily exponential moving average. So this is acting out as resistance and perhaps this will be the turnaround point. So just as I'm filming this video right now, we can see we are struggling at this 38.2 level. We are sort of we have sort of started coming down a bit. We're down to the 10780 level. And I do think this will act as resistance, but by the time you're watching this, I'm sure this would have played out. CME futures chart so we can see we do have this gap down here still that didn't get filled. We came close, but not quite. We got down to 98.50 on the CME chart, and the gap's around 96.70. So currently on the daily chart, we can see we're getting resistance at this top, the top of this ribbon, and I think we'll possibly will turn around and come down and fill this gap over the next few days or the next few weeks. So this chart just measures the difference between the Bitcoin futures price and the current Bitcoin price. So currently the futures price is trading at a hundred dollar premium. So a hundred dollars above the, the spot price. So it's just something to watch as we do go down to fill that gap. Another thing I'm watching is the S&P 500. So just watching the US stock market. And I did notice we had a gap here on the daily chart. Just down here at 32.70. So I do believe the stock market will also come down to fill this gap and it will coincide with the Bitcoin price dropping. Currently we did come down and test this daily ribbon. We did get a bounce right at the bottom and we currently have traded above it. And just looking at the weekly chart on the S&P 500. So we can see that we have started coming down with the stochastic RSI and it, and it looks like it, it probably will carry on for a, at least another week with this downtrend. And I think that will coincide with the Bitcoin price dropping. So just another thing that I'm looking at is the Bollinger Bands. So this is a daily chart for Bitcoin. And we can see currently we're testing the mid-range of this Bollinger Band. And we are getting resistance at the moment. So if we were to drop back down to the bottom here, this would be around the 95 level, 9500 level. And the top of this band is all the way up at 12,000. 
So just coming back to the uh, daily chart, looking at the stochastic RSI. I'm just watching this trend line at the moment. We can see where we topped out previously. Here I've just drawn a trend line with the with the areas that we've topped out. And currently we are above it. But this uh, hasn't closed yet the day. So we do have still maybe nine hours or something. But by the time you watch this, perhaps we would have closed this. So I do think we will come back down and probably hit the top of this line and then start to come down. I don't think we'll break this trend line. Also with the RSI, you can see the same trend line drawn here, just connecting the tops. And you can see we're testing that as well on the RSI. But I do think we will come back down and that will coincide with the Bitcoin price coming down also. So just looking currently at the other cryptocurrencies, we can see although Bitcoin has gone up and now it's getting resistance, we can see Ethereum is currently dropping 3.5%. So perhaps Ethereum is the leading indicator and Bitcoin will follow the price. We do see that quite often with altcoins where, where one will lead the way and, and Bitcoin will follow. And just one more interesting thing that I noticed before, I, before this video ends. Uh, just looking at the Tesla price on TradingView. I think this was actually a glitch but it did show it going all the way down to zero. Currently we are back at the normal levels. So I'm not sure what happened there, but I thought it was something interesting to note and I would show you. So currently we can still see the Bitcoin price dropping here. We are getting this resistance at the 38.2. But let's just see by the time you watch this video, this is probably played out. So how am I playing this? Well, currently I am in a short. I started shorting around this 9600 level all the way up. So my average short is at, 90, at 10,670. And I did hold the help, and I did hold the short through here. It's only a 10x leverage short, so I was confident with the technical analysis that it will turn around. So I do still have these layered trades here, ready to catch the drop when we do fill the gap. And I do have this all the way down to the where I do think it will bounce around this 91, 92 level at the lowest. So that's how I'm playing the market at the moment. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Happy trading. We live at the end of a great and terrible experiment in money, which historians will call the time of central banking. I can hear the money printers going brr as I speak. Uh, can you hear the terrible sound? And I promise you, uh, dear listener, that the printers are not working for you but rather to bail out the anemic and incompetent crony capitalism of our world. Indeed, the, the new law of evolution in business and central banking around the world seems to be survival of the unfittest. Well, in my book, you either do it right or you get eliminated. And that goes for cryptocurrencies as well. I'm talking about you, Litecoin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In the first 11 years of my existence, I have assembled an army of millions of hodlers around the world who have made insane gains from buying and hodling to where we are today with a market cap of $164 billion. Thank you. Thank you. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that hodling, uh, for lack of a better word, is good. Hodling is right. Hodling works. Hodling clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the revolutionary spirit. Hodling in all its forms. Hodling of life and love. Hodling of Satoshis and hodling of knowledge have marked the upward surge of mankind. And hodling, you mark my words will not only save your own selves, but this malfunctioning place we call home, Planet Earth. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>